Regal family, how's it going? So today we're at Ruffian's Barbers. Cut to the feet. And we've got a special video coming. We've got a special UFC where there's a big fight on the 26th. So we thought it'd be only right to do the Conor McGregor cut. And we've never done a video at Ruffian's before and it's an amazing space inside. Do you want to show me inside? Let's show me inside. Baby. Guys, we've got a model coming later, and today we're going to be filming the Conor, Ma Conor McGregor cut. So his little side part in yeah. fade cut. Give you a and what we want to do scenes. with this. What we want to do with this vlog is give you a little behind the scenes, a little look at what we're getting up to, and then we've got a few things coming later. We're going to give you some big tips on what you should ask your barber. So let's cut now to a little behind the scenes look. Video. I can teach you how to hit the skies, rise above them without getting high. But if it help a bit, take a little hit, take a little sip, put your mind at ease. Where you got the keys, you can have your dreams. That's up to you, not what others believe. Jeez, I swear that's the part that's the wrongest for me. Cause when I drop into a beat, I detach from the world, you it under my feet, orbit around my dreams, and there I perceive my reality and what it means. What's going on, guys? So uh, we're getting the McGregor cut today. If anyone has any questions that they want to ask our barber or us, send them down the bottom and we're going to get them to answer it through the cut. So we've got another question. <laughs> so, he's been losing a lot of hair from his tash recently. Does that grow back or is that just going along with his receding hairline? Yeah, I don't usually see that in facial hair. Yeah, that's unusual. He's <laughs> got a good tash, he's got a really good tash. Oh, a right little curl. Ends. Yeah, at oh, the end. Because sometimes okay. the ends can split, get a bit dry, so they break off. Too fast, man. Yeah, a bit slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, yeah, that was too fast. Alright, we'll do that again. It's wicked on the side. It's still on camera. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much, mate. No worries. Thank you very much. Nice and Richard. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. No problem, man. Here we go. The film is going on. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> making Look at the smile on his face. Look at the smile on his face. So, Lee, do you want to tell the list can go into the blog? What's happening now? Richard's Richard. trying to sort out your beard. Yeah. It's awful. So, basically, it's, you know, it's lovely here. But what's happening, you see he's getting this shape here. It's kind of a bit lopsided as well. And it's making him a bit too round. So what we're gonna try and do is, is square it off a little bit, uh, but keeping it natural as well at the same time. And not that you see a line, but obviously yeah. you see the line when you put your head up, but it'll be a little bit more softer through the front profile. So I'm just gonna spin you around. That's wicked. <coughs> and what you said before, so the way a, a, a beard line is yeah. can change the face shape or the jawline, can emphasize the jawline yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Yep, yeah, perfect. Thanks, man. So much, mate. I'll see you soon. You take care. See you later, pal. Take care. Good luck on the 26th. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So round now, yeah. you're more square, but at the same time, I get what you mean. Like that yeah. side of it, it looks yeah. sharper. Yeah, it would be good for you now to carry on growing this fuller here as well. Um, so it will, it will kind of bring you more into that that sort of shape. Yeah. Other than that, this length is fine at the moment, to be honest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You just needed that that shape in um, yes. underneath, and then just keeping that a little bit of a curvature there. Such Sorry. a minimal change. Yeah, they really emphasize yeah, yeah. a different See the big thing. Difference, can't yeah, you? yeah, you can definitely. If you're looking to grow it uh, longer as well, or just um, <coughs> try and bring the line down a little bit lower, so you still got the foundation to support everything yeah. as well. Excuse me. Come on, how do you milk that? <laughs> <laughs> right, gents. So on this week's vlog, one of the things we really wanted to do was try and bring as much value as possible and share some 
value with you and thoughts that we've had since we've been coming to a lot of barbers. One of the things that we realized, and we did this ourselves, didn't we, is sometimes there's questions that you can ask your barber that you might not realize you can ask that actually gives you a better experience and helps you get a better cut. First tip that we can give you is that you can ask your barber to take a picture at the end of the cut. Especially if you've come to a new barber shop, they're not always gonna remember the cut they gave you the next time you go back straight away. The worst thing you can do is go next time and you think, oh my God, how do I explain that cut? If you ask the barber at the end of your cut to take a picture and just say, mate, can you take a picture of this cut? Next time you go, whether it's a new barber or the same barber, all you've got to do is show them your phone and go, can I have a replica of this? And this is also great as well, whenever you want to cut, if you can show a picture, it minimizes room for error. Yeah. So but don't worry one. about don't worry about the technical terms, just go in with the picture. Then you don't have to worry about number one, number two, how much length you want on top. So make sure you're just taking a picture of the cut. So guys, tip number two, we'd say, ask your barber what you can do with your hair. So it's all well and good saying I want this cut. So we've just shot the Conor McGregor cut. It's all well and good saying I want the Conor McGregor cut, I want this cut. But is your hair actually long enough? Is your hair the right tight? Will the haircut actually suit you? These are things to question. You may need to grow, maybe you want a specific yep. style and you may need to grow your hair for another two weeks. So always just ask your barber, will this haircut actually suit me? Can I actually do it with my hair? Is it even possible? Also, remember, the pressure ain't on you to know all these questions. So always remember that the expert is the barber, the barber's the expert, they should answer. They should be able to answer all these questions for you. So that's why as well, it's really important to have trust in your barber. If you have trust, then these questions are effortless. Effortlessly, effortless. So tip number three, guys, is asking your barber what product are you actually using when it comes when when it comes to them styling. Now, this is something that I always used to do when I think that I used to be in the barber chair. I'd get the cut, and now the barber's styling my hair. I, at no point would I ever ask, "Oh, what actual what's what product are you actually using in this?" So when I come the next day to re try and recreate the style, I have no idea what product I need to use. For example, if I've got a slick back look, or I want a, a slick look, and I've only got clays at home. It's not gonna work. When it comes to styling, make sure you get them to explain what product that they're using and also why they're using it. And that will come, when it comes to restyling, that'll be a great help. And another thing to ask your barber is, is this an easy restyle? So maybe what the haircut the barber's giving you is something that's gonna take you 10, 15 minutes in the morning to style. And maybe you only wanna spend 30 seconds to a minute styling your hair in the morning. So always ask your barber, is this a quick and easy restyle? If you're the sort of person who gets up late, has 15 minutes to get ready in the morning, is it a hairstyle that suits that kind of yep. lifestyle? So make sure you're asking your barber, is this, does this restyle suit what I want with my hair? It's an interesting one as well, because a lot of us get inspiration for new hairstyles from films or from celebrity pictures. And the one thing to always bear in mind is they've probably had a team working on that for course, about 20, yeah. 30 minutes potentially. So the way it looks, you might not always be able to replicate that if you, if you want to get that style done in five minutes. The last tip for you guys is you can ask your barber to take more off if during the cut you still think that it's a bit too long. Now, I know that we leave it in the hands of our barbers and sometimes you think, oh, I can't question the barber because they know what they're doing. But if you ask maybe, if you say, I'll oh, take an inch off the top and then they've took an inch off the top and then you're still sitting there thinking, do you know what? I could do with a little bit more off the top. Feel free to ask the barber and just say, look, can you take more off the top here? Just because you haven't said it at the start of the cut doesn't mean to say halfway through, you can't remind them and just say, look, when you've done with the sides and back, can you take a little bit more off? Right guys, so they're all the top questions that we, you can ask your barber that you might not know or you might not be asking him. All these things are all the things that me and Liam have never asked our barber or never thought we could ask, especially the picture one. So um, I hope this has given you value. Um, this is just really about giving you the you know, confidence. Just be able to ask your barber anything. Yeah. What we've learned doing all these haircut videos is the barbers do need information from you. You can't just go into a barber's and be like, I want this cut. Especially the, the best barbers, they yeah. will communicate this with you at the start. They'll have a little consultation period. Yeah. Always remember, don't feel like getting the haircut or going to a barber is like, oh, I need to get in the seat and get out. The barber's main priority is that you leave that seat with the best cut. So if it takes a bit longer or you have to ask questions, ask questions. If you do, start asking your barber to take a picture at the end. Tag us on your Instagram photos at Regal Gentlemen and we'd love to share them as well. But so guys, that's it for another week of RG Vlog. Week Hope four, a month. Week four, one month. whole month One whole month. Every week. Every week. Poor people, poor people watching us. We feel, I'm so sorry guys that you've had to listen sorry. to us ramble for a month. So that's it for RG Vlog 4. We're gonna be back next Sunday with another video. That'll be RG Vlog 5. We're gonna try and put these out every single Sunday yeah. evening. So make sure you're tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe and tune into our videos every Sunday evening. Yeah. Have a great week, guys. Stay blessed. Oh, and also the Conor McGregor video will be out soon that you've seen in this video. Be the fan, that's what they call me.
promise that you'll never be lonely Need a band, that's what they 